Hey man, got the homie Sasha Renee up in this building, NBG. Shit, man, we, ride, we, we, we been rocking all goddamn day, man. It's a Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Back streets with cold shit, man. I definitely appreciate you for rocking with me, coming through, man, on this good old Wednesday. Shout out, shout out to the whole NBG, Taz, the Riddles in this bitch, but you gotta introduce yourself to the streets. Everybody know who he is. Ah, what's going on, y'all? I am Sasha Renee, NBG. Y'all know what's going on. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I've been doing music for a long time, probably about 13, 14 years. I rap, I sing, you know, I do it up. Louisville, Kentucky, how you, how y'all been go? And how did you get to Asia? Um, I relocated to Houston like three years ago. Okay. Um, I had been wanting to get out of my hometown. I was procrastinating on it for a long time and I finally just did it. Uh, I really was deciding between like Atlanta and Charlotte, but Houston just stood out to me. Um, I came across Taz last year. Okay. Um, and performed on Teddy Tuesday. I think that's the first mm-hmm. time we met. Yeah, first time we met. I, I met. I knew of her like off Twitter. Oh, okay. but I think it was that uh, the Jack Daniels, song, the Barry song, or whatever. Yeah, you, you were, were on, you, you were on a countdown that I was on, and I, I heard your music, and I was like, oh, fuck this thing. I was tagging her on Twitter and shit, and followed her, we followed each other, and I realized she stayed in Houston. Then that's when I tapped in, was like, hey, I got this platform, I think you can go, you should come out, you know, and then after that shit, we just been linked in, just a lot of people on the team, some man, some dumb, what made you, I guess she was different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She was different, she was about her craft. You know what I'm saying? And she was putting on her own shows as well. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was another person that understood the shit that I was already doing. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like, okay, she moved to Houston. And it's like, I like her vibe. I like her voice. And it was like, you know what? I got to have her on this team. It, it took me a while to get her there. I ain't going to hold you. It's just Sasha, wait. What's that spot? <laughs> wait, wait. Well, I need the back story. You look like bullshit what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I had to kind of shoot my shot, for real, you okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, I was kind of waiting around like, mm, I wonder if Taz going, you know, hit me up to be a part of the, the team or whatever. He did, and I just kind of, you know, do it out yeah. there and then, that's what, you know. Yeah, she hit me and asked me, like, is this good, is this something I should, yeah, as long as the paperwork right, we roll it. And you've been in Houston three years, you fuck with us, like, as a music scene that supports you, what it's like? I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. I love Houston. I mean, even outside of the, the music scene. Now, there's some pros and cons from my hometown to Houston. Like, back home, it's a lot smaller. So, they don't got to pay to play, you know, thing. You know, what you just, mean? What's the pay to play? So, you know, like out here, even if you ain't no cash prize, it ain't got to be no guaranteed amount of people in the crowd. The promoter gonna at least want 15 $25 for you to go perform one song and just to be heard. Mm. And back home, you know, you, you get a sold out show mic. and you just, yeah. And, and it ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Actually, mm. people frown upon you paying a play, but out here in other major mm. cities, that's just what it is. So, you know, I miss that component of it. Because you gotta have even more of a budget out here, you know what I'm saying, to budget get your name out there, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all don't know Jack Carlo, Bryce Attila, ESTG. So y'all got people from there that really make it in pop. Being it'd be in a small city, right? Yeah, it ain't been a whole lot, but yeah. Mm-hmm. How hard is it to pop at home being that you had the motor Houston or Charles Moon? Like, you can pop in the city fairly easily, in the state fairly easily. Outside of that, it's a struggle. Mm. Yeah. But that's why you felt it was necessary to move. Is it a lot of uh, artists like the LGBT support? No. No, no, no. And like the community out here is <laughs> overflowing. You know, back home, it's like you gotta perform and straight stuff because ain't nothing going on with us, you know. So out Damn. here, it's overflowing. So, no, I don't think so. Damn, Max, we should talk. Could you drop some advice to the artist that's from another city and that's planning on moving to a bigger city? Just do it. Uh, if you was like me and you would sit back and think you second guess and skirt, you can't worry about none of that. You just got to go ahead and put yourself out there and do it really. Um, and also, don't wait too long once you get to the city because I feel like that's what I did. Like I was 
Once I moved, I was still scared. Like I was still scared to like go outside and meet people and interact and you just gotta let go and let God and just do you. Yeah, and yeah. road trip, dark liquor, okay. uh TMH, too many hoes. Okay. <laughs> and um honestly this record is like two years old, but I'm bringing it back because mm -hmm. I feel like people didn't hear it because I, I didn't have my name out there in Houston. The way I do now, when I first dropped it, but I got a record called H Town Booty. That they go. So damn, we gotta go check it out. And what was it like being an official artist at South by Southwest? Oh man, it was dope because I haven't tried to do it for like three or four years. I applied every year and never got accepted. And uh, this year, I actually didn't apply to be an official artist. I had just done a competition out here with DJ uh, Oliver. Mm -hmm. And ended up winning a slot to perform on the festival and just so happy his showcase was officially so on look what happened when you tap in with the Holly Girl with Big Big Shout out Yeah, for real. Yeah. Dark liquor, like when you first listen to it, you might think it's just, you know, the bourbon and the whiskey got a handle. Like that's the theme on the hook, but really mm -hmm. it's a song about pouring into a, a bottle, you know what I'm saying, or sitting with a bottle after a heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes that's how you have to go to. You go to the bottom when you up, you go to the bottom when you down, so. Man, and was you paying homage to H Town with the H Town booty? I know you said it's old, but you still yeah. pushing it. What's that about, man? Because I came to Houston and I got introduced to some some new things, you know. So, uh I made a song about it. Yeah. So what wait, what wait, wait. <laughs> So no boys or something. Wait a minute, not some new things, man. Yeah, that, is, that nigga had to take us. <laughs> oh, you just said fuck it. I'm just gonna go with this. This is me. Nah, I used to go by YP. What? That's a big dip, different change. No, it, it stood for Young Pebbles. That was my rap name prior to 2013. And then I just, I, I grew up and I'm just like, I just want to be just me. What? So you but just like as a manager, as in, oh, this person you gonna talk to me, nah, you can get that email and somebody yeah, gonna yeah. respond back to you. Yeah. It may be me, it may not be me, but you gonna get a response. That's you true. know what I'm saying? But mostly I do everything myself, but it's kinda hard to trust anybody with what you got going on on me if they're not on the same page as you. If you're not trying to go as hard for me as I want for myself, I don't need you. Yeah. Man, that's just some cool shit. Yeah. We fucking out of here. <laughs> we out of here. Listen. We out of here. I don't know. I feel like I be. It be hard sometimes to be honest to think about like what's next. Right, right. Because you just, you know, living through the day to day, struggling through right, the day to day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it out of where you at right now. Um, but I just know I want to be further along than I am now, and I really want to be making some money doing this. Like really making some money. I done made money, but I want to be making some money. Make money. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, what was it like to um? Did you meet Bryson or you perform for him or open for him or what that experience was like? Me and Bryson were like this back then. So like, y'all like what now? Like just like me and Ted working together doing music on the scene. Fuck well, nah. You said what? Fuck well, no, yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's so. Dope. Okay. Bryson probably left the city though. Like he left the city probably like 2013. And just kind of started. He, we see him like working with Tim Bowl, and about a year later, that's yeah. when Don't Drop and like he took yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But he just uh, he popped back out on me in 2018. He came out and just surprised me and popped out. That's and dope, bro. Yeah. How was that experience to get a guy who you sit with and made it, and then to come back and just show that same love and not be Hollywood? Because you know how this industry you can get. Yeah, and I think, you know, in the back of your head, you think, oh my God, I haven't seen him, I guess he is Hollywood. So it was really bittersweet. Nice. No, I'm just, I'm Not being honest. Like, yeah. when, you don't, when, you know somebody, when you know somebody and then they, they take off, it's like, I'm proud of you, but then at the same time, like, dang, you know, I ain't seen you, you ain't hollered at me. But then you did. So, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was bittersweet. It was a great feeling. Oh, man. Any advice, any gems he gave you so far that you like to share? 
Uh, Bryce is quiet. He's really not, you know, that type of a guy. But it's kind of like, you know, he supports you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Follow me on social media and stuff like that. But he ain't been hands on with nobody in the city for real since he made it, to be honest. So, Damn. nah, you know, he ain't dropping no gems, but it's like. I was watching, he said he don't really fuck with the city because they like to rob him and shit a lot. What? Yeah, on his Breakfast Club interview, he said he really don't go back in Louisville because there's a lot of haters. And like, he done got robbed too many times out there. Louisville is, um, ugh. it's one of the cities, it's, it's crabs in a bucket mentality. And a lot of people hate, like a lot of people like, oh, you ain't came back now, now I'm like, you know, now I'll support you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Bryson owed him something or Jack Harlow, he is he oh, owed. kind of like a diva, like she said, it's people that crap. Nah, he wasn't, that wasn't really, okay. you know, his role, he was just one of them artists. He wasn't one of them artists that like go out and perform, like he's very reserved. Mm. Like I'm sure he's opened up more as he's grown as a man, but like he's a very reserved person. So he wasn't type going out and getting on stage, like he was a studio artist. You know, mm. and that's where he put his focus and his energy, and he made it. What you mean by that? What's a studio artist? I want to learn it's what that is. More in the studio, more than really just on stage. Like a lot of people, like how we say now, you need to get out there and network. You ain't right, just right. blow up off the internet. Right, right. But he was probably in those rooms where he could be, like you say, even Timberland and all that. He stuff. was talented enough. Yeah. Some people just. You gotta have, yeah. And then he knew how to market his song. Baby? You giving me shit where I can shoot. Tell you like that's, that's yeah. easy. Just say somebody hard like that. Yeah, yeah, Jet the third though, oh, oh god, that I can really we can really get that. Cause I was been supposed to do some shit with Jet, but it's just like we both be having yeah, so yeah, much yeah, shit. Okay. I can see how going on. Shit, you know? So it's like, but with Sasha I can hear those voices together. Oh, we'll probably play that song a million times. I don't give a damn if we drive no water hurt. But the her sound is fucking amazing and it's nothing like I, you know, I don't hear any singers like her. I and what was this race by a road trip? Man, so I ain't gonna lie, like going into it, I was trying to make a sync record. Like, you know, a sync license and to put in like movies and TV shows. And I'm like, okay, I need something clean. I need something that sounds bright and positive. You know, I'm more positive, but I still won't be me. And the pro what project is that now? That you besides road trip, what else they need to go check out? You say dark liquor. Need to go check out dark liquor, TMH, berries. And who we show your videos? They different too. So IDB from back home has shot most of my videos. She a white girl. She got this big fiery red hair. And you can just see if I have a camera follow me here. She what side you on that north side, or south side? Jersey Village. So what's that north? Big north side, northwest. Yeah, yeah, big northwest. <laughs> Backstreet, how they go tap in, how they go follow you? Uh, Sasha Renee Music on everything. Man, all her shit registered. She got the link tree, the YouTube, the Theezer, the Spotify. All her shit together. Man, what it? A lot of you artists need to get it together. Be on live. Log your shit in. What if they ain't got the money for that shit, though, Tess? PPK, huh? What if they don't got the money for it? Be on live is free. 